Hey everyone, recently I've been working on file system visualizer and uh, I did it uh, using JavaScript and 3.js and I wanted uh, the user to be able to interact with Mesh's kind of control program with a mouse and the way you can do it in 3.js is using Raycaster. Raycaster is designed to assist with raycasting for mouse speaking. And so I made a simple utility class uh, that lets you kind of ev add event listeners. So for example, uh, say this mesh, I want this mesh when it's clicked, I want to run this function. Uh, and you, uh, in the description to this video, there is a link to a GitHub repository where you can find that utility class, that script that I wrote, and you can simply include it into your project. There on GitHub, there is an explanation uh, on how to use it. And right now, I'm gonna make an example a program that uses that utility class. I'm gonna create a simple program that has a bunch of meshes uh, that we can interact with uh, by using our mouse. Okay, so first we of course include 3GS and set up a scene, a camera, a render. Uh, so this is all basic stuff for 3GS. And here I have two colors, gray color and yellow color. And I uh, first I wanna create a bulb, which is gonna be like a light bulb that we can click on and it lights up or turns off. So first we create a bulb ge uh, geometry, which is gonna be just a cube. And oh, actually let's make it a sphere. Not a cube. And then bulb material, it's gonna be yellow, so turned on the default. And we create a mesh and set position, add to the scene, and we have our render loop. So it's not using uh, the utility class yet. Let's just check it out. you can see it uh, let me actually make it smaller and like that so yeah we have a book and if we click on it nothing happens uh, so we want to add mouse interaction to our program so first uh, I put in the JS folder with 3JS a 3MMI.js which you can download on the GitHub. So let's add 3MMI. Uh, now we wanna initialize an MMI object new. Uh, so new mouse mesh interaction and it's we have to pass scene and camera into the constructor so yeah now mmi dot add add and And it takes uh, mesh name, event type, and handler function. And this class only supports three uh, three events: click, double click, and context menu, which is a right click, right mouse, uh, right button, or the mouse is click. So click. No, uh, first the name. So. Here I gave a name to the mesh 
which is both, which is uh, pretty important. So we can create a second mesh with the same name and it's gonna have the same handler for click event, for example. So name uh, is uh, doesn't have to be uh, unique uh, to e each and every mesh. Back function, function and as a parameter it takes mesh so we can uh, kind of use it in the event handler and so if uh, mesh any mesh with the name bulb is clicked then this function is called first let's just walk and and let's just uh, test this out also in the render loop uh, we have to update have to put update function and my dot update let's check this out so as you can see each time I click uh, we get both has been clicked printed out into the console so it works now let's actually make our mesh change colors as it is clicked uh, So now it changes colors, so we can turn it on and off. Uh, this kind of... So we give to each mesh an ID. So we let's create another mesh. Bulb mesh 2. So now we have, for example, two meshes, and they both light up and turn off uh, because we use the same bulk material. Let's use different material. Now they're gonna yeah. Also, let's create first another mesh with different name and add another handle first. Three, but this time we're gonna say it's a red ball.
So now we have three bulbs, two of them are of one type, which is just bulb, which has an inert handler for yellow color and the red one. So now let's add another mesh and I wanna uh, use the other two supported uh, event types which is double click and context menu so let's add time we double click the lamp it's gonna get a random color Now if I click once nothing happens, if I double click and also now let's add lamp is on which equals to false. So another event handler, we're gonna add another event handler for context menu. If lamp is clicked with right button, then we said uh, lamp is on to the opposite value. Like that. 
I click um, some is not defined. right button uh, it's supposed to it will kind of turn the lamp on okay yeah now it works let's turn it off yeah, nothing happens now So that's how you use this utility class. Once again, uh, you can get it on the GitHub. The link is in the description. That's it. Bye.